Hi, this is Powell with another Visual Basic exercise from the book uh, uh, Introduction to Programming using Visual Basic. And uh, this is uh, exercise from Chapter 11, Section 2, and Exercise 5. And uh, in this exercise, we'll be creating some events. Now, uh, here's the uh, assignment. We'll write a program that reads the, the date from the file Actually, no, not supposed to be data, it's supposed to be data from the file one line at a time into an array of state objects and raises an event whenever the population of a state exceeds 10 million. States should have their names and population displayed in a list box by the corresponding event procedure. We, we are given a hint, create a class called United States that contains the array and defines a method add, that's the name of the method, that adds a new state to the array uh, and the add method should raise the event. All right, now this is a little complicated for what we, <laughs> all, all that we're supposed to do, but uh, they want us to practice, you know, some uh, how to raise event and how to handling events. All right, so first thing first, here's the form, a uh, list box and a button. That's all that is to it. I also have uh, have the file United States text, uh, which is the file with uh, all the text. I'll move it to my debug folder, and when I click it, you can see the each state is one state at a, on, on one line. That's the name of the state, abbreviation, date when they joined the union, the area of the state, and the population of the state. Now, first thing, uh, I'm going to create an object. Uh, a class, I'm sorry, uh, called state. And in this class, uh, I do classes uh, one uh, class per file. I don't put them over like multiple file, multiple classes in on one page. And in this uh, state uh, class, we will declare a few properties: uh, public property, uh, the name of the state. And it's gonna be a string. And for this exercise, all we need is the name and uh, we su what we're supposed to display, the name and the population. Now the text file itself has more data in it, but all we need is the name over here and the population over here. So I'm only going to create those two properties for this uh, particular uh, class, uh, population. And that's going to be uh, an integer as integer. And believe it or not, this is all. I and mean, we could obviously put some methods there, like uh, we did in previous exercises that calculates the density and stuff like that. For this exercise, all we need is these two properties. Because in these two properties, we will be assigning uh, the data from the text file. Okay, so now uh, ne next one we create the class. Uh, called United States, like they want us to. Uh, so I'll just call it United States. I'll add it. And this one is the one that will have the uh, event. So uh, we will create an event, public, public uh, event, and I'll call it population event. And in this event, Remember, we need the state, the name of the state, and the population. So I will simply pass the uh, name as string and the population as uh, integer. So this is going to be our event that we will call. Remember, from the uh, we're supposed to create a class United States, which we just did, and a, that has a that defines a method add that adds a new state to the array uh, and the add method should raise the event. So we will create a method called add, so public, uh, it's going to be a sub because uh, we're not going to return anything. I'll call it add like they want us to. And we will pass to it uh, the state object. So I'll just call it state uh, or s as state. 
and in this remember we are supposed to only output uh, again if you read it the population that exceeds 10 million so over here we simply do if our state dot uh, I'm sorry our s dot uh, population is greater than 10 million uh, so that's 10 1 2 3 1 2 3 then we will raise the event so we suppose we will do the raise event and we will call the event you can see right here in the uh, intellisense we'll call the population event we just declared and in it it expects us to pass the name of the state and the population of the state so we will do the state name uh, it's an s sorry uh, uh, name because we have it over here that's what we passed into this uh, uh, method s as state so the name and the population so if the population of that state is greater than uh, 10 million we will call or raise the event which is this now we of course have to uh, have a kind of an implementation for that event uh, which uh, we can we will do on this form we will uh, declare a form level variable uh, with the keywords uh, with events because this is uh, what's going to handle the event i'll just call it states and it's going to be our new united states that's the in other words we are creating an object of United States of this class that will handle the event assigned to that so um, yeah that's all for now so I guess so uh, let's do the the event itself in the event itself when it's raised uh, we're supposed to when raised um, we, we are going to output everything into the uh, the list box again if the, the state population exceeds 10, uh, 10 million the event is raised and within the event we will output that state that matches the condition into our list box so I will do a private uh, sub and by uh, convention I'll name it uh, uh, I'll just name it states uh, states underscore and the event name is population event remember that's what we declared uh, we call it population event and um, in it we are passing remember we are passing the name uh, of the state name as a string and the population I'll just call it pop as an integer now this would be just a regular sa sub but it's a we have to add the handles keyword and the thing that it handles is the states dot and again you hear it intellisense the population event in other words this is our population event uh, handler so uh, That's our sub, that's our po uh, population event handler, and within it, we will simply do the output of the items uh, and we will add uh, to the list. And what are we adding? We are adding the name that is being passed to this event handler and uh, a space, maybe uh, just to separate it a little. So the name of the state and the population, which is the pop. And um, we can move it to string because that's an integer on core. So that will uh, take care of the event itself. Now, this is all done kind of in the background. Now, when we click the button, the display button, uh, let me just remove this uh, form load. We don't do anything with that. When I click the button, uh, remember we have the text file that we need to handle. The, the, these are the values for the states that we need to pass to our object. So first thing first, we need a, a file or a variable, I'll call it file, 
and it's an array of strings and it will hold the content of that text file so we will do the output uh, uh, input output of file that read all lines and the name of the file is called United States.txt this is not the United States uh, object this is just the name of the text file so we have that and now we do the we loop through all the states um, they wanted us to do an array of objects uh, I don't think we really that really is no need for that we, what we can do is uh, simply loop through all the objects as integer to and how many times well the, the size of the file which is the count uh, minus one if the file size changes this will uh, you know uh, there are obviously 50 states but if the if we decide to add some other countries or whatever or uh, delete some of it then if I enter 50 here uh, it would uh, be out of bounds so this way this uh, this line will always uh, or this loop will always loop through the file array no matter how many lines uh, how many elements that array has so and within this loop we will uh, declare our uh, object so uh, over here I can uh, I will do a deem US state as a state all right this is the object of state with those two properties that we uh, we need the name and population so within the loop we will this is just assigning uh, the variable we don't have the object yet created within the loop we will create each uh, we will create an object for each state so the US state will equal the new uh, state this creates the object and now we have access to all the to, to those two properties so our US state dot name and the name of the of the state is in the text file and that's the first thing in the text file so if you look at it it's uh, all separated by comma all the data so we know if we separate split this string uh, by the comma the delimiter then the first element which would be the element zero is the name of the state and the one uh, zero one two three four element four would be the population so that's all we capture the element zero and element uh, four so it will equal to the file which holds the uh, all the data from the uh, from the text file now that's the array of the index i and we will split it we will and we will split it with a comma and like i said it's the element zero that's the name and we will do the same for the population so the u.s state population equals file dot uh, file of index i again this is an array so we you need that this is the uh, but this is not the array of object this is just the array of the text file all line by line from the text file and we will split it once again with the comma and this is the element four that gives us the population and over here all we have to do now we, we will call the uh, the uh, add method now so uh, so all I have to do now is uh, remember we have this uh, variable states which handles the event so I will do the states dot and see you can see that the add sub is uh, available in the IntelliSense and if you look at it uh, uh, what is that it expects the object of state so we have to pass that and we just created one and we call it US state so US state we will pass in it so again when we click the button we have process the uh, text file uh, move everything into an array of strings from the text file we create the object <coughs> and then we loop through the text file or from the array that we created from the text file we declare an object 
No. And from there, we will split the uh, the line uh, by the comma because that's the delimiter, and we will capture the uh, element zero and four, which correspond to the name and the population of the state. Then we call the add method and pass that US state object to it. So when we come to our uh, to our add method, this is the what we are passing. We are passing the name and the population. So if the so it has an access to it. So if the population is greater than 10 million, we will raise the event, the event we, that we declared over here in the same class. We call it population event. When this is raised, uh, the handler for that is over here. And all it does, we are passing the name and the population, and it will output the population, the name and the population into a list box. So let's see if everything is working as expected. So we load it, and if I click display, here's the Pennsylvania with the highest population and California uh, with the lowest. But these all have to have more than uh, 10 million uh, uh, citizens living there. That's the, that was the condition that we are going by. The population had to be greater than 10 million. And this uh, output actually corresponds with the one from the book. Now. Um, this, uh, I named it states underscore population event. It kind of uh, matches the, uh, the convention. You know, the states is the event handler and the population event is the name of the event. But I could name it anything I want. I could do it X, uh, Y, Z. And if I run it, it will still give me the same results. This name is just a name. It doesn't matter. Like I said, it's just a convention. This is what handles the event. This is what says, okay, this is the event handler. Uh, the same with the button click. You know, I mean, it creates it automatically when you click the, uh, when you go to your form and double click the, uh, the button, it will create uh, this uh, event handler for you. But again, this could be called whatever. Yeah. It, it won't matter. This is just a convention that you have a, uh, the name of the, uh, uh, in this case, we named the button BTN display, and the event that we are handling is click. But the actual event name is over here. It handles the BTN display click. All right, so uh, I hope it was helpful. If you liked it, please uh, like the uh, video down, click the like button. If you know about s someone who could use this, uh, yeah, share with him or her. And uh, if you're not subscribed, of course, please subscribe and I will see you next time. Take care.